Hello, everyone. Hello. Good evening. Hello, hello. We have 10 people already. That's good. How is everyone doing? Como están? Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Thank you. We have 12 people already. Let us start sharing the screen and reviewing the agenda. Comencemos a compartir la pantalla y a revisar la agenda. Today, we are going to be reviewing phone numbers, doing a little knowledge check on it, how to give our phone number to someone else, how to get someone else's phone number and how to say the phone number. So we'll be doing a review of that. We will review vocabulary on what's in your bag, right? And this and this, singular and plural. Today, during the afternoon, hoy en la tarde, I sent you guys uh, some additional examples of possessives. Uh, algunos ejemplos adicionales sobre los possessives. My and mine, yours and yours, her and hers. When you're talking in the first and in the third person. Right? Cuando hablamos en la primera, en la tercera persona. Así que con eso ya tenemos un poco más de vocabulario sobre los possessivos. And we can move on to additional topics that we will use the possessives for. Para lo que vamos a ocupar los possessives. Because I will say my phone number is what's yours? ¿Cuál es el tuyo? Así como lo hicimos formulando preguntas, right? My phone number is X. What's yours? Do you know her phone number? ¿Sabes cuál es el teléfono de ella? What's his phone number? ¿Cuál es el teléfono de él? Right? We will be reviewing those examples. Veo que ya estamos 20 personas. So I think it is good for us to start. I think we're good to start today. Les decía, por si no se habían unido, that today we'll be reviewing phone numbers vocabulary about things that you have in your bag, vocabulario de cosas que tenemos a la mano en nuestra cartera, en nuestra billetera. And reviewing the difference between this and this, singular and plural. So let's get started with today's class. We will start the class by reviewing a video about phone numbers. Four. I think five. you couldn't hear the video before. Creo que no podían escuchar el video al principio, ¿verdad? Exactly. Yep. No. Let me start again. Hi, everyone. Can you hear it now? Yes. No, yes. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Thank you. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give phone numbers. Let's get started by going over the numbers from one through 10. Let's listen and repeat. Zero, O, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Now let's try to practice by reading out the numbers that you see on the screen. Anna Silva. Anna Silva's work phone number is 201-555-2491. Anna Silva's home phone number is nine one four five 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 two seven one four Anna Silva's cell phone number is eight four five 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 one zero oh, two three, and you get the idea. James Lang phone number. James Lang work phone number is eight hundred five 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 eight eight nine three. James Lang home phone number is six zero oh, four five five five. Two seven one four. James Lang's cell phone number is two five zero oh, five 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 one zero oh, two three. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. For example, my work phone number is seven one three six nine five three five three nine. My cell phone number is, my wife's cell phone number is, you should. Okay, so if we use the possessives for this example, if we're talking about Ana Silva's phone number, are we talking about his phone number, her phone number, their phone number? What would you say? Que dirían ustedes? Her, his, they? Si estamos hablando del número de teléfono de Ana Silva, she is feminine. Uh, y estamos hablando del número her. de teléfono de ella. Right. Her phone number is and her phone number, right? If we're right. talking about James Liang, el número de teléfono de James Liang, it would be hey. his phone number. Exacto. Jeez. Perfect. Si estamos hablando de mi número de teléfono. My. My phone number is. And we can ask. Let me share a different screen. We can ask someone else for their phone number. By saying. Podemos pedirle el número de teléfono a alguien más. Diciendo. What, what is your number? Mm -hmm. That's right. What What's is your, your telephone number? Or what's your telephone number? Exactly. Right? Another thing that we saw in the video, otra cosa que vimos en el video, is como uh, to the number zero, numero cero, can also be called O. This is just because they do that uh, as slang, ¿sí? como modismos. So you could have the number 505. It would be 505. Now, this is very informal. Esto es bastante informal y no lo vamos a ocupar, por ejemplo, en correos en documentos fijos, puede que sí lo lleguen a escuchar en 
de parte de, 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 de gente del trabajo, like you're asking. More in conversation. In a conversation, right? Not so much in written. But in a verbal conversation, it's very usual to hear it. All right. Any questions about the phone numbers and the numbers? Alguna pregunta so far? No, no question. All right. Let us do an exercise then. Hagamos un ejercicio entonces. We will listen to a conversation and we'll complete the phone numbers. Vamos a escuchar las conversaciones y vamos a completar the phone numbers. So we have five, exa six examples. I'm sorry, we have six examples which we will complete. David Medina's phone number, Sarah Connor's phone number, Steve Carson's phone number, Nicole Johnson's phone number, Jennifer Miller's phone number, and Michael Otis's phone number. So we will listen to each one, stop, come back, review it, and then continue. Vamos a escuchar cada uno, nos vamos a detener, vamos a llenarlo y vamos a continuar. Let's go. Let me just see if I'm sharing audio. Yeah, I am. Okay. One second so I can share this with you once it's loaded. Sometimes when you're sharing screen, a veces cuando estás compartiendo pantalla, things load much slower. Las cosas se tardan más en cargar. But let me open it for you so that we can listen to it. All right, everyone. So it seems, I'm just asking, and it seems that this specific, there we go. Okay, we should be able to hear it now. Let me share it with you. Let me know if you can hear it. Listen and complete. Can you hear it? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Here we go. Let's. What's David Medina's phone number? It's 212-555-1937. Did you get it? Can you go deeply? ¿Lo vamos anotando? Are you writing it down? Repeat audio, please. Of course, let's go again. Listen. At I'll do the first one with you, okay? So let's go. And complete the list. 
What's David Medina's phone number, Michael? It's 212-555-1937. Did you get it this time? So it was 212-555-1937. Listen and complete the list. Let's continue with the second audio. Three seven. Two one two five 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 one nine three seven. Yes, that's it. Now we'll do number two. Okay, Sarah Connor. What's her phone number? Hmm, Sarah. Her number is three four seven five 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 seven six. Four five. Three four seven five 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 seven six four five. That's right. Did you get it? Yes. 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 Yep. Yes. What is it? Yes. Who wants to go? Three four seven five 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 seven six four five. Seven six four five. Yeah. No, six, four, five. Six, four, five. All right. Let's listen again. Her number is three, four, seven, five, 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 seven, six, four, five. Three, four, seven, five, 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 seven, six, four, five. That's right. You got it. Let's move on. Now let's see. Stephen Carson, his phone number is 201-555-3648, right? Yes, that's right. 201-555-3648. Did you get it? Yes, got it. Let's, let me know. I'll write it down. What was it? Two oh one five 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 six four eight three six oh eight. Three six oh eight or four eight? Four eight four. Oh eight. All right, let's listen again. Oh one five 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 three six four eight, right? Yes, that's right. 201-555-3648. The first number is incorrect. And Nicole John. Yes, that's right. So it's 201, two, two at the beginning, 555, five, yeah. five, and then it's 3648. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's do Nicole Johnson's. Johnson's number? Oh, Nicole is my roommate. Our number is 646-555-3806. So Nicole's phone number is 646-555-3806. And your number is 646-555-3806. It's the same number. Right. So, Nicole Johnson's phone number, which one is it? 646-555-3806. Perfect. 
And Jennifer said that it's the same phone number, right? Yes. That's right. That's right. Excellent. So we're just going to paste the same phone number for her. And we will do the last one. Hey, what's your phone number, Michael? It's 718-555-9960. Okay, great. Right, did you get it? 718 or 60 right excellent all right let's review so as you can see phone numbers are usually separated in their digits here in el salvador aquí en el salvador pues tenemos ocho dígitos so we do four and four in Estados Unidos, they do three, three, and four. Los primeros tres son el código de área, and then it's the phone number. Three, and then four. Let's review and see if we got it right. Vamos a revisar a ver si lo tenemos bien. There we go. It's all correct. Nice, you guys. All right. Any questions with this exercise? ¿Alguna pregunta con este ejercicio? Or are we good to continue? Yes, right. continue. Perfect. In that case, vamos a continuar with the second section, which is what's in your bag for the vocabulary about things that you can find in your bag, your wallet, your backpack, cosas que podemos encontrar en su mochila, en su bolso, en su billetera. It could be anything, right? So we will watch a brief video on that. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with common objects, which people have in their bags. We will listen to a quick audio and you should listen and repeat. An address book. A hairbrush. A wallet. Sunglasses. A CD player. A camera. Keys. A cell phone. All right, let's go back a little bit. Yes. Vamos a regresar un poquito. What are some things that you have in your bag that's not here? ¿Cuáles son algunas cosas que tienen ustedes en su bolso o en su cartera that's not here, que no esté allí? Anyone that wants to share. Credit card. Nice, a credit card. Yeah, me too. Credit card. Makeup. What else? Makeup. What else? Stamp. But the credit, but the credit card is, not, is in the wallet or not? Yeah, I mean, it's in the wallet, it. in the bag. Same thing. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Money, for example. Money works. Yeah. What else? <laughs> A pen. What? A pen. A pen? Like a. Like a hand fan, like pen, 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 pen. Oh, a pen. Okay, yeah. What else? Notebook. A notebook. Me too. Yeah. What else? A uh, cell phone. We have a cell phone there in the examples. Umbrella. An umbrella, um, yeah, one of those yeah. little umbrellas, um, right? Umbrella. <laughs> Do 
you can carry mm. Um, maybe yeah. maybe cell phone charge a charger yeah a charger a phone charger exactly phone charger. yep so. maybe what else maybe you can have a water bottle i don't know you can have um headphones headphones yep <laughs> You can have your face mask now that COVID and everything. Cookies. You can carry cookies, sure thing. Yeah, I don't see why not. You can carry cookies. What tools? I'm sorry, what? What tools? Oh, those are wipes. 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 Yep. Wipes. Wipes. Excellent. Yeah, me too. Wipes. Yep. All right. And many other things. Todos andamos cosas distintas, right? In our bags. But we just reviewed a bunch of vocabulary that you can use in your everyday. So that's good. Let me move on in that case to our next section. Our next section now that we have reviewed it, it's about this and this. Whoops, here we go. This and this. There's really not a difference in pronunciation. Realmente no hay una diferencia en la pronunciación. Simply, it's for singular and plural things. Singular y plural. Como así. The same thing. So let's say cell phone. This cell phone. And if it were more than one, si fuera más de uno, this cell phone. Yeah. This class and this classes. Right? Es un error super, super, super común. Y incluso cuando ya lo sabemos, Suele pasar que se nos olvida y decimos this, um, this books, for example, when we should be using these books, right? Or this book, si es uno, singular, right? Yeah, but um, it's, it's normal if I use uh, pronunciation this and this. Oh, the pronunciation is the same. Como les decía, la pronunciación realmente no cambia. Vamos a comprender. Esto es más que todo una regla para written language, para cuando estemos hablando escrito. Cuando lo digamos, we really won't be able to tell a difference. Realmente no vamos a poder distinguir pronunciación. Um, people will just know it's plural because you'll say books, cell phones. It'll be plural, right? Pero no hay diferencia de pronunciación. Okay. Awesome. Let's review a video on that as well. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll become familiar with this and these. Before I start explaining this topic, we're going to listen to a quick audio which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and repeat. Wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Oh. Uh, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. In order to understand the concept of this and these, I would like to start by explaining the following. Number one, you're going to use this, that spell out T-H-I-S, whenever you're talking about one object, which is near you. Number two, you're going to use 
these that spell out T H E S E whenever you're talking about two or more objects which are near you. On a different class, I'll explain how to use <coughs> that and those. So as you can see on the screen, there is a camera. And therefore, whenever we talk about one object, we're going to say, this is a camera. If we want to ask a question about a particular object which is near to us, we will ask in the following way. What's this? It's an earring. On the other hand, on the screen, you also see two cameras. And therefore, whenever you refer to two or more objects which are near from you, you will say, these are cameras. Notice that the article A from the previous example disappears because we're no longer talking about one object, but instead two or more. If we want to ask a question about two or more objects which are near to us, we will ask in the following way. What are these? They're earrings or they're cameras, for example, right? For our practice exercise, I would like for you to look at the image and practice making questions and answers. For example, what are these? They're keys. What's this? It's a CD player. You're gonna do. All right, all right. So let's do the exercise that we see here. For number three, you see one and two of them. How would you say it? About the, what, what are these? What are these, exactly. This. What are these? What are they? It's a bag. They are. They are bags. They are bags. They are bags. Whatever. Yeah. They are bags. They are bags. Bags. Right. Excellent. Number four. They, they How would are you bags say? Or, or they are bags. So there and they are means the same. It's just a contraction. If you want to uh, write down there, it's, to, it's shorter, but it means the same. So both are correct. Okay. Perfect. Number four. It's one of the one of it. What is it? What is what, what is this? Is this? Oh, también podemos decir, what's this? Si ustedes quieren usar la contracción, right? But both are correct. And what is it? It's a, a watch. Clock. It's a watch. It's a watch. I heard a clock. Do you know what the difference is between a clock and a watch? Sabemos la diferencia between a clock and a watch? What is the difference between a clock and a watch? Maybe the clock is the, is the time and watch is uh, on the wall. So, clock and watch, they are both used to read the time, para leer la hora, but the clock goes on your wall. El reloj. The, pared, the clock, right? By in la pared, by in whatever. And then your watch goes on your wrist. So that's the watch and that's the clock. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. Next one, number five. What are these or is this? This. What is this? Is this? What, is this? what is this, right? And what is it? It is it's a, a cell phone. phone. It's a cell phone. Excellent. 
And last one. What? This is an exception to the rule. Esta es una excepción a la regla. How would you say this? What are these? What are these? Exactly. Porque son... Sunglasses. What are... Uy, what are these? There. There are sunglasses. sunglasses. Exactly. ¿Qué otro ejemplo se les ocurre que es un solo objeto? But it's a pair of something. So it's plural. Pants. Jeans. Pants. You know? Exactly. Jeans. Hey. Pants. Yep. Socks. So it's one thing, but plural, right? Excellent. Any questions with this? ¿Alguna pregunta so far? All right, in that case, let us move on. Let's do an exercise. Whoops, I stopped sharing. Let me share again. There we go, okay. This is the exercise that we are gonna be doing. Es el ejercicio que vamos a estar haciendo. These are the instructions. Look at the images and form the correct question or answer. We already did it. Solo lo vamos a hacer para la prueba. Right? So, what are these? Their keys, right? Let's review. Whoops. So, we will do number two. This is number two. Los números están en la imagen. Number two. What is it? CD player, it is, backpack, it's or a radio? CD player. It's a CD player. Exactly. It's a CD player. Awesome. Number three. What are these? Is this or are this? Number one, number two, or number three? Number two. Perfect. Number uh, two. two. Awesome. Number four. What's this? Watch, CD player, or computer? Number one. It's a watch. It's a watch. Perfect. Number four. No, I'm sorry, number five. What? Is this? What is, is or this, is what this? This, what is this? this? Right. What is this? And number six. Sunglasses. Sunglasses, backpacks, or cell phones? Number one. Number one. That's right. There we go, and we've got all of the points. Excellent. Ya hicimos entonces este knowledge check about this and this. Any questions so far from anyone? Vocabulary, this and this. Any questions that you might have? No. All good? Uh, it's okay. Good, cool, cool, cool. Then we will connect a new topic. Vamos a conectar otro tema, un nuevo tema. We will do yes or no questions that you will be able to answer. Yes or no questions son esas preguntas that you can answer simply with yes or no, right? Yes, it is. No, it is not. Let's watch a video on that. Previously, anteriormente, vimos que para formar preguntas about verb to be, vimos que le cambiábamos el orden to the sentence, le cambiábamos el orden a la oración. So instead of saying, I am tall, we ask, am I tall? So the verb to be goes before the subject, va antes del sujeto, right? Same thing, algo similar pasa con las preguntas que vamos a hacer. Let's review. Let me share my uh, audio. I'm not sure if I am. Yeah, I am. Okay, there you go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes, no, and where questions would be. We'll start by listening to a quick audio program, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. Where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? 
No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See? No problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm. No, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Let's try to make sense. Antes de que continuemos, before we continue, does anyone have any questions? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta about any words? ¿Sobre alguna palabra that you don't know? ¿Sobre este, esta conversation? Or do you know all of the words? And we're good to continue. All good? All good. Good. All right, let's continue then. Pocket? Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Let's try to make sense of the chart that you see on the screen. In order to form yes or no questions, we're going to follow the next formula. Verb to be plus this, or in this case could be these, plus some kind of complement. So verb to be plus subject plus complement. In this case, we want to say that the subject is uh, this or these. So let's try to make some examples. As you can see on the screen, the example is this, your wallet. We have the verb to be, in this case happens to be is, and then we're gonna use this, the complement in this case is your wallet. And then of course we put a question mark there. Um, the other example that you see on the screen, are these your keys? Uh, we have a verb to be, these, your keys. And of course, we put a question mark at the end. Let me give a couple of more examples. Is this your cell phone? Question mark at the end. Are these your things? In order to answer this type of questions, you're typically going to answer with, yes, it is, no, it's not. If it's plural, for example, yes, they are, no, they're not. Now that we understand yes or no questions with B, let's explore WH questions with B. We're going to follow a similar rule for WH questions. Let me go ahead and put that on the screen. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus complement. The rule is very simple and it's quite similar as making yes or no questions. The only difference is that now we are adding a WH word. So what are WH words? Let me explain. We use WH words to get information from others. For example, who, what, when, where, how, why, are some examples of WH words. Now let's put that rule into practice. If we look at um, the example on the chart, right, we can see the question towards the right hand side. It says, where is your wallet? So if we follow that rule, we're gonna put a WH word plus the verb to be plus some kind of compliment, wallet. And of course, we put a question mark there. Where is your wallet? Where are my keys? How are you today? Why 
are you hungry? Where is the police station? To answer WH questions, you now need to give information. For example, for the question, where is your wallet? Notice that the answer is, it's in my pocket. And also, all those questions that you heard on the conversation a few minutes ago. Now, it's your turn to make as many examples as possible. Practice making yes or no questions and WH questions. You should answer those questions as well. The more you practice, the easier this topic will become for you. All right. So now that we have reviewed questions. the two types of questions that we have, we have yes or no questions. So verb to be questions, también conocidos como verb to be questions, porque podemos responder solo yes it is or no it's not. A diferencia de las preguntas con WH, what, why, how, when, where, we need to give some more information. Si necesitamos dar una respuesta como tal. So it's in my pocket, they're on the table, because I was hungry. If, if, if they ask you, why did you eat it? Porque te lo comiste, because I was hungry, right? For example, any questions so far? Yes. Um, and the just no question. If I use the the short answer, it's okay. But the these strict rules, for example, if I say yes, this is my glasses. That is also correct. So. Uh, you can use the short answer. Ustedes pueden ocupar la respuesta corta. Yes, it is. For example, uh, si nos preguntan, is this your book? Right? We can answer. Yes, it is. Pero también podemos contestar. Yes, it's mine. O podemos decir, yes, it's my book. All of those are correct. Todas están correctas. Ahí depende si ustedes quieren dar más información o lo quieren dejar solamente con yes it is. Pero all of them are correct. No es una regla estricta. No es estricto, no. Incluso en la vida real, um, si alguien nos pregunta, is this your book? Y nosotros quizás lo habíamos perdido or something. Uh, no le vamos a decir, yes, it is. So le vamos probablemente, we'll be excited, right? Vamos a estar contentos de que alguien lo halló. So we'll, I would say, yeah, it's mine. Where did you find it, right? ¿Dónde lo encontraste? I was looking for it. So mm, these are just, veanlo como las reglas gramáticas, right? How we can say it for it to be correct. ¿Cómo podemos decirlo para que sea correcto? Pero ustedes le pueden agregar todo lo que ustedes quieran o quitarlo lo que quieran. Ok, thanks. Awesome. Any other questions? When do you use mine? Mine. Ok, excellent question. So when I am answering, cuando yo estoy contestando, yo puedo decir que algo es mío de esta diferencia. Lo usamos así. Ambos son posesivos. Vamos a poner otra pantalla. Vamos a ponerlo aquí en limpio. Ambos son posesivos. So, si recuerdan como la imagen que les envié a WhatsApp, quizás no todos la vieron, pero this is a good example. So, I can say my and mine. It's your and yours. Uh, his, it's his también, her and hers, their and theirs, our, ours, its and its. Yeah. Entonces, algunos ejemplos en que vemos la diferencia es, that's my, uh, what, my shirt. 
si lo usamos en la voz pasiva, this is called what's called active voice and passive voice. So active. Más adelante en, los, en otros módulos ustedes van a ver más a profundidad active y passive voice, pero para que conozcan la diferencia, en passive es that shirt is mine. Right? Es como que ustedes digan, esa es mi camisa y esa camisa es mía. Right? Es exactamente lo mismo, pero el orden de la oración cambia. Y cuando nos preguntan, ¿Es this your shirt? Nosotros contestamos, yes, it's mine. Right? Cuando nos preguntan así, nosotros contestamos con la voz pasiva, per se. So, yes, it's mine. O también ustedes podemos, pueden contestar con, yes, it's my shirt. Como les digo, no es completamente estricto, pero sin embargo, lo que ustedes van a escuchar más comúnmente en el mundo real es, yeah, it's mine. O otra, otro ejemplo es this o are these, are these her things, in general. Yes, they're hers. Right? Right, thank you. Excellent. Any other questions you might have? Also, I wanted to remind everyone, les quería recordar a todos, que eh, nuestras clases siempre quedan grabadas y se suben a la plataforma de YouTube, al link que les envié, se los puedo volver a enviar, o lo pueden buscar en el canal de Inglés sí. Corporativo. Sí. Yeah, ok, let me send that again. Se los voy a poner aquí en el chat de Zoom, so you can have it. Para que ustedes puedan verlo las veces que necesiten verlo. All right. Okay. Thank you for the link. Excellent. Right. Let's do a quick knowledge check now that we have reviewed this and this yes and no questions, WH questions. Ya vimos eh, las preguntas, ya vimos las formas de responder, vimos algunos ejemplos, this and this. Así que. Let's try to practice. Veamos el ejemplo. Number one. Nos dice this. Y umbrella. So it's singular. ¿Cómo haríamos la pregunta? This uh, with uh, an R or this with this? Is your umbrella? Or this or is this? Is this your umbrella? Is this. That's right. Is this your umbrella? Because it's one thing. Singular. Okay, number two. These are or is? Uh, are. Are, they, are. are these your keys? Number three. Glasses, plural. Where, how, or when? We see the where. answer. They are on the table. Where, 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 where are my place? They're asking for a place, right? So where? And no, it's mine. So they're asking who it belongs to. De quien le pertenece. So is this my pen? No, it says it's no. Not. No, it's not. No, it's it's not. not. That's right. It's not. And you are correct. Están en lo correcto. Excellent. All right. So any final questions about this and this? that you might have with verb to be. Hemos visto so far cómo formar WH questions. Ya sabemos que los WH questions where, for places, when, for times, what, for a variety of things, but mainly uh, something, right? How is más H que W, pero how it's uh, the way something happened. Right? Why? The reason. Uh, 
And we also saw that for WH questions, ya vimos que para las WH questions necesitamos dar más información. So when nos preguntan sobre where are my glasses, yo no puedo contestar solo sí o no, just yes it is or yes or no it's not. I need to answer where it is. So they're on the table, they're in the car, they're on, um, I don't know, they're on the kitchen tile, whatever. Así que eh, tenemos esa regla. Whereas for the yes or no questions, is this yours? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Right? Right. All right, perfect. Does anyone have any questions about vocabulary? Alguna palabra que ustedes no conozcan? Algo adicional que quieran que veamos? Algún ejercicio so far? ¿En cómo vamos? All right. Bueno, hagamos un review de nuestra agenda. Mañana vamos a estar viendo prepositions. Vamos a ver eh, cómo describir las cosas que le pertenecen a otras personas. Ya comenzamos a adelantarnos un poquito with hers, his, ours, theirs, right? Pero mañana lo vamos a ver un poquito más. Por eso hoy solo vimos un ejemplo. Um, y we will also review Uh, what happens when words or names end in an S? Porque ustedes saben que eh, las palabras, cuando estamos hablando sobre um, possessives, we we'll say, for example, for names, it's Marius, right? It's, uh, it's Marius, it's Alex, right? Pero qué sucede cuando el nombre de alguien termina en S? Or something ends in an S, right? For example, you're saying that something belongs to uh, somebody, let's say named Carlos, right? So what happens then? Qué sucede entonces? Eso es lo que vamos a estar viendo mañana también. Recordarles que a medida vamos trabajando en la plataforma, ustedes también pueden ir haciendo los ejercicios o no necesariamente tienen que esperar a que los hagamos aquí. Ustedes pueden adelantarse y regresar aquí to review them, to make sure that you have everything right o si no tienen algo correcto, verificar por qué y poder comprenderlo un poco más. Uh, pero sí es bien importante que ustedes vayan completando la plataforma. Um, Next week, ya, bueno, ya mañana es nuestra eh, última clase de esta semana. Y next week, we'll be watching some uh, additional videos, reviewing some additional topics. Y el 27, el siguiente jueves, vamos a estar haciendo ya el review del de test del medio term. And that's how we're doing so far. Okay. Thank you for the class. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Well, durante el día, me, eh, pues continúo enviándoles any additional material que pueda para que ustedes tengan más vocabulary and other things. So if you have any questions about anything, you can let me know tomorrow. I'll see you then. See you tomorrow. Okay. See, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 -bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.